Hello my dear, I'm glad you are back on our channel. Let me tell you a personal story. As an INFJ, I often find myself feeling like an outsider in social situations. Despite my desire for connection and deep relationships, I often struggle to find people who truly understand me and share my values. One particularly difficult experience I had was in college, when I joined a club that seemed like it would be a perfect fit for me. It was a group of people who were passionate about social justice and working to make a difference in the world, which aligned with my own values. However, as I attended meetings and events, I began to realize that the other members of the club were more interested in the social aspect of being part of a group than in actually making a difference. They would spend most of their time chatting and joking around, and when it came time to do the actual work, they would quickly lose interest. I found myself feeling frustrated and isolated as I was the only one who seemed to take the work seriously. I tried to bring up my concerns with the other members, but they didn't seem to understand where I was coming from. I began to feel like I didn't belong in the group, even though I shared their values. Eventually, I decided to leave the club and focus on finding other ways to make a difference in the world. It was a difficult decision, but I knew that I needed to find a group of people who shared my passion and commitment. Despite the challenges, I never lost sight of my values and my desire to make a positive impact on the world. I just wanted to take a moment to say a big thank you for hitting subscribe and supporting our channel. Your support means the world to us and helps us keep creating content that we hope you enjoy. Have you ever felt like you don't quite fit in with a group of people, even though you thought you had similar interests? Or have you ever been in a situation where you were the only one who truly cared about a project, while others were more interested in just fun? If so, then you'll definitely want to hear from an INFJ who can relate to these experiences. Are you curious to learn more about the unique and complex INFJ personality type? It's a pretty rare one, making up less than 2% of the world's population. It is characterized by introversion, intuition, feeling, and judgment. People with this personality type are often known for their warm empathy, keen insights, and deep understanding of human potential. How can you tell if you have an INFJ personality type? Let me ask you this. Have you ever felt like you're on a completely different wavelength from everyone else around you? Like you just don't quite fit in? I feel you, my dear. If this is the case, it's possible that you have a dominant intuition. And let's be honest, explaining how you know things can be tough. Intuition is a tricky beast, but don't worry, you're not alone in feeling isolated or misunderstood. We've all been there. Other key traits associated with this personality type, perfectionism. You constantly strive for perfection and feel like you failed if you fall short. You not only want to succeed, but you feel like you need to go above and beyond to exceed everyone's expectations. However, this desire for perfection can also lead to procrastination. Sometimes the task at hand can feel overwhelming, making it difficult to get started. So, while striving for excellence is a great trait, it's important to find a healthy balance and not let it hold us back. I've found myself in situations where the task at hand just seems too daunting, leading me to put it off and procrastinate. But I've learned that finding a balance between striving for excellence and not letting it consume us is key. Are you someone who has a natural ability to understand people's emotions and motivations? Do you find yourself able to read people well, even beyond what they're saying out loud? It's like we have a sixth sense when it comes to reading people's emotions. We're naturally perceptive and intuitive, and we use these gifts to connect with others on a deeper level. People with this type rely heavily on their intuition to connect with people. We're curious about the inner workings of people's minds, and we find it fascinating to see how each individual is unique in their thoughts and feelings. 
It's a gift, but also a responsibility to use this ability to help others and make a positive impact in the world. If you find yourself having only a handful of close friends and being very selective about who you let into your inner circle, you might be showing signs of having an INFJ personality. Your strong intuition helps you to be selective in who you allow into your inner circle, as you have a key ability to sense who is genuine and who is not. This also means that you are quick to cut ties with someone who puts your loyalty in question. Trust is a big deal for you, and you place great value on the friends you hold dear. Are you someone who cringes at the thought of having to engage in small talk? Do you find yourself feeling drained after discussing mundane topics like the weather or sports? You often feel that small talk is a waste of time and energy. You crave deep and meaningful conversations that allow you to connect with others on a more profound level. Learning about someone's values, emotions and beliefs is far more interesting to you than listening to their opinions on the latest football match. Here is another trait to consider. You're always thinking about the future, if you're striving to achieve your personal goals. Because of this, you have a forward-thinking perspective and you're always considering the next steps to reaching your objectives. You're also very self-critical when it comes to your past experiences. To avoid feeling down or stuck, you tend to focus heavily on the future. For instance, if you feel like your relationship with your partner isn't progressing, you might decide to end things. Or if you're feeling stuck in a dead-end job, you might choose to leave and explore other opportunities. Here is another. Do you ever find yourself drawn to people who seem to need help? Do you feel like you have a big heart overflowing with empathy and compassion? One of the great things about this trait is that it allows you to form deep, meaningful connections with your friends. But sometimes it can also be a bit of a curse. You see, your ability to see past the surface and find the good in people can make you vulnerable to what's called the broken wing theory. This is the idea that you can never abandon someone who needs help. And while it's incredibly gratifying to be able to assist others, it can also be exhausting and overwhelming if you take on too much. If you're watching this video and nodding along, then you might belong to the rare group of people with an INFJ personality. It's incredible to think that only 2% of the world's population share the same traits as you. Your intuition is like a superpower, allowing you to perceive things beyond the surface level. Your friends and family probably value your insights and appreciate your caring nature. You're someone who sets high goals for yourself, but you're also considerate of others and try not to harm them along the way. It's important to embrace both your strengths and weaknesses and use them to live a fulfilling and successful life. If you've made it this far, you're probably someone who cares deeply about the quality of your friendships and the people in your close circle. It can be tough to navigate the world of fake friends and insincere relationships. In this video, we dive into the topic of fake friends and how to identify them. I think you should definitely check it out.